Okay, so base model is done. So now this model will take to JBrush and do some details. So we have some reference image here uh, for muscles anatomy. Uh, if possible, you can see the and go, you can Google it and get the lot of details, a lot of reference images uh, to follow. So let's export this file. So uh, if you want to export I separately or this one, first let us take the body file export selection. So I'll create a folder lion and uh, I can take in OBJ format. So lion underscore zero one. Right. So now come back to ZBrush. So we can import. Right. So the D uh, G F lion like that one. Fine. So it's saying something quotes and triangles, so no issues. So uh if it is there, either you can correct it. Okay, now edit. So you can look at here and this is your wireframe mode. You can see fine, looks good. Right. So uh if you like to uh you should have UV for this. So you can create UV in GBrush also. So you can take code G plugin and uh, hide this. So go to G plugin and UV master and unwrap. Right. Nice. So you can after unwrapping uh so the UV morph the and this is your UV layout you can see here. Right. So uh so you can start working on the detailing. So you can again bring back to the 3D. Uh, then hide the wireframe, set it up. And I can go for geometry. And I suggest uh, you change the materials to white color. Uh, it'll be easy to work. Mm -hmm. So uh, let us divide the resolution. Okay. So right now we can increase the high resolutions, make it three, four, I think it's fine. Uh, the resolution is done. Now you have to start working stage by stage. So, so I see this front area. I can see how it looks. It looks totally different. So you have to work on that area first. So, uh, start working on that. So you go for clay build and uh, use X. So for mirror symmetrical, then start working on the the muscles. So you can see the side view. Uh, how it looks and trying to be how it looks. So I suggest uh, create the muscles in this area. Maybe uh, go for one is fine intensity. So I, think, I think one is very less, maybe three is fine. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we are creating the muscles this part. So right, this is fine. fine. So how your muscles looks this area. So try to match that part. Okay. So now uh, I can go to the damn standard. So press D, damn standard, I can make the uh, the flow of the how it looks. So maybe it goes like this and maybe it goes like this. Okay. So this is the uh, chest area, I can see. So it should be like in this. Okay. So and this is another, um, this is what you can see. Uh, so that goes like this, right? So it is smooth, right? Okay. And again, start creating the masses. So this is your... Uh, Chest area, I can see. So start building. So keep building. So keep low intensity so you can manage the things. Right. So, right. So fine. So, so now again, damn standard and uh, it connects here. Right. So sit. Right. Just second. Now slowly we are getting the shapes. You can see. So, so you should understand the structure of the muscles, how it should be. Then you can do that really properly. So again, you can go to the this, so you can connect here and uh, go like this, right, now that's fine. Okay. So now, I can create the, uh, this is your, um, means your forearm part is this. So make the forearm, forearm properly. So clay build and uh, start creating the forearm. So this is one muscle comes like this. And this side one muscle comes. So like that. Start building. 
but and this side also you can see here yeah. so try to match as much possible and this is your uh, that elbow area yeah. you can see so that's fine let's make the things correctly like this so i think it's not fine right oh, so it goes still uh here and this goes still here so that field area can see just create as much possible the muscles so here you can see the this is the muscles right so now we will create the message this way also so this is done so maybe one more message here we have to generate then one more message here so maybe reduce the size of the brush so we can generate here then again one more small muscle is here and uh, finally here we can create So just smooth it, show how it looks, you see, and then smooth it. So you can see the slowly editing the details, looks good. So make it small and uh, try to give the details on this area also. Very small, you make it, very small brush. Right, so. So this clay build tool is really a uh, very good tool to make the generating the muscles and uh, here you have to make okay fine then here you can make Oh, that's fine. So, if, so uh, having good muscles in the front area, you can see. So, uh, I like to give a little damp centered in the in this area. I'll give some cuts. So, make it bigger side brushes. Okay, fine. So, we can have some depth here, and of course, one depth here. So, that will give very good result. So now uh, we got the uh, some muscles. So I feel this lower part looks very uh, uh, and, uh, thin. So that maybe you can add muscles in this area to fill that area. Okay, fine. Right. And uh, of course, uh, you can make little more bigger that part. So use the move tool. Move, move, move. move. Yeah. Okay, fine. So why is the move this one? Okay, fine. So this using this we can make it more bigger, more bigger, right? So already I want to make it more bigger. Right. Just I'm scaling uh sorry, not that element. So now it looks better. So we can see this image show combined. So maybe a little more bulgy in this area we can make. Okay, fine. So go to the Play build again, ready the brush rise, ready the brush rise, and make some more details. Details, right? So, this area, this area, this area, this area. Mm -hmm. So, like that, you can get more details in this area. So, here also, I feel the same thing. So, yes, so 
I think this area I feel little not correct. So we can make it a little close the move tool and uh, it is the pressure is fine. So now this is fine. So if uh, so uh, we can see now it looks more muscular, uh, having good muscles. Uh, and I feel at least two, uh, maybe we can reduce, or you can see some knees. It's too big, so no issues. You can still, you can make it uh, reduce the things. So uh, using the move tool, there you can reduce the size. Okay, you feel too big. But now proportionally uh, looks fine, right? So hope you understood how to generate the muscles. So next video is over the other areas we'll see and try to make as much real.